Welcome to episode 3 of Coffee with Coach. So for today I'm going to talk to you guys about safety. Now as you know there are certain things that we need to do in order to stay safe from this virus that I mentioned in one of the previous episodes that's been running around. And staying safe is, is the most important thing. So I'm going to go through the things that we need to do to stay safe and then I'm going to give you uh, the, 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 the guidelines that God gives us in order to stay safe. So firstly, there's um, soap and water that we, we need to wash our hands often and then there's hand sanitizer. Now this one has got uh, packs quite a punch. I'm, I must say it's got a it's got a, a potent um, alcoholic whiff, you know. So so if you if you use this one, just make sure you're sure you're not in a close space. Because when I'm in the car, every time I spray my hands, I can't understand why my daughter is starting to cough at the back and I realize it's the potency in this in this um, hand sanitizer. So make sure you use enough as well, because if you don't use enough, then, then it, it, it's not really that effective. Then, of course, we've got um, these masks. Now, there, there's a lot of ways um, to, that these masks have been made, but now I've just got a basic, a basic one. And um, it's got a lot of colors on it that I also have in my cupboard. Um, so I can I can match this with pretty much um, anything that I've got to wear uh, which for those of you that know me knows that I like I, I like to stick with certain colors and obviously orange is my favorite color so then there's obviously there, there's also the coughing we need to be very uh, it's very important how we cough so we can't just go <coughs> you know that's not going to cut it um, and also not with the hands because next moment you forget that you're not allowed to shake or give someone high five. You need to cough in like this. I know President Ramaphosa also um, uh, demonstrated it on TV for us. So now very important is the social distancing. I actually want to call it physical distancing because we can still social. We can still have um, conversation with each other over over the phone. Um, so so we can still be social it's just the 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 physical getting together that is not allowed so um i've got my um, um two, two assistants so just to just to demonstrate so no hugging is allowed that no I, I, you're not allowed to do that because then the, the the virus can be spread and then no um shaking of hands or high fives is allowed Okay, got that? Right. Okay, so now, now that I've covered pretty much all the things that we can do to stop this virus, I'm going to share with you what, what God says what we should do. And I'm going to read to you from Ephesians 6, verse 13 to 18. Therefore, Put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, and with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, Take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the sword of which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. So boys and girls, there are the, the, the stuff that we can do that the government tells us to do. But there's very important stuff that God also tells us that we should do 
in order to protect ourselves. And the Bible is very clear on all the all the the things that are available to us in order to protect ourselves. And it's important that we pray for one another. Pray for your friends and pray for your teachers and pray for your for your parents. I mean, yeah, really, you have to pray for your parents. I'm telling you now, as a parent myself, yes, it is hard being a teacher for a great art child. I'm telling you, um, it's not easy. So, so, yeah, I, I, I can do, I can do with some, some prayer. And um, yeah, pray for your grannies and grandpa, but also pray, pray for the world, pray for our leaders, pray for those that. Um, don't know where their meals are going to come from. And when you pray, it, you can pray for strength, for wisdom. Um, you can pray for, for, for patience, for calmness. Um, and I think we can, we can, we can ask God you know, to, to help us cope with this situation that we find ourselves in. Um, and, um, and he will listen. We don't always understand what God's plan is, but trust me, it will be good. Okay, let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Father God, thank you for this wonderful day and thank you for the privilege of being alive and well. Father, I pray that you will be with us and with our loved ones that you will watch and protect over us i pray that you will give us patience when we don't have any patience and that your holy spirit will will guide us with wisdom and that the holy spirit will also be with our leaders those people that are making the big decisions. We pray for, for them and we, we, we think of them in this time. We also want to pray for those people that don't know you. We pray that they will, that they will get peace and that they will seek you in this difficult time. Thank you that you love us and thank you for the knowledge that you will never forsake us. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.